Alright, you listen here. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. I got a key! Chill out. Wait, what is chill out again? Is that a command that somebody has? I forget. Chill out. Oh no, that's one of the star things. Okay, I will use chill out. That's right, because that chill out worked awesome for me that one time you told me to use it. Save my butt. Go here. Ooh, wait a minute. 
what if I were to do... What if I were to do this? Oh no! Doesn't do anything. Wait. Why do I... Okay, what? I guess because they're always on the right. Set a ton. I do need to start doing focus. These things. <sighs> yeah, let's focus. We need that FP. Tension meters are everywhere. They're in joysticks, they're in, you know, what else are they in? Any sort of knob, you know, it's, it's cool. It's all, that, honestly, out of all the stuff I learned about electronics, that was the coolest part to me. The, the sort of, like, epiphany that electronics aren't magic. You don't need to be an electrical engineer to make stuff that other people might consider to be made by an electrical engineer, you know? That was the absolute coolest thing to me. The, the approachableness, that, that dropping of the veil. Because like most people think about it, right? Like, and this is no offense to you, Mr. Game, but right now, in your head, an Arduino is pretty much a magic box, right? Like you have no idea how inside the Arduino it's doing what it's doing. It's, it's just kind of, it's a black box. You type stuff into Arduino, the IDE, and then the Arduino does stuff. Um, and as you play with it more, you'll learn more and more about how it actually works internally, but it's just a black box. And all of electronics, to me, up until a certain point, were black boxes. I didn't know how any, any of it worked, you know? And getting to remove that veil, to sort of like... make that stuff not super scary, is, was really, really cool. Oh. 
soon. What's up, man? Uh, smash you? Dun, 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 dun. I blocked him. Wait, he's still dead. Why'd I do that? Do they just both have to be dead at the same time? I don't get it. What? Get out of here, I'm gonna hammer you. Um. 
Ouch. Oh no, I've no there's most stuff I take apart I have no uh, confidence in myself that I'm not gonna break it. So a lot of the stuff I do take apart are things that either I don't care if I break or I don't care if I break. <laughs> in the beginning that's the best way to go, because then you're a little more, you know, cavalier about it. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna take this apart. I'm totally gonna do that. Stop throwing stuff. Damn it. Should have jumped. Uh oh. Put him to sleep. Oh man. That was not even worth it. You did. Ouch. Uh oh. I'm dead. But I have lots of those mushrooms. Yeah, I got the mushrooms. Alright, what now? Boom! Catch you guys streaming. What, what do you guys play again? I watched, uh, I think I watched Svart a little bit. Or maybe I wasn't Svart. I watched, I watched a, a couple people from my channel, but I don't think I've watched, uh, our candy or Mr. Game and Watch yet.
Dang it. That's not what I wanted at all. Oops. What? Dang it, that's not what I wanted. Now I gotta do this all over again. Yeah, I should. I will! I think I'm following you, hold on. I get alerts. Uh, when do you normally stream? No, I'm not following you. Who else am I not following? Mr. Game Roll, I'm not following you either. What is this garbage? I'm following Svard. And Ricky? I'll follow the hell out of him, too. And... I like this word isn't stream, but I'm following you, too. Ruffman? Yeah, I'll follow you. Spectre? Okay. I think we're good. I think we followed everyone else. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do here? I want to jump on... I just don't know where to jump. Fresh ch Twitch chat. I hate when I do that. Oh, the chat's going away for a second. Um, I think I want to just do a normal jump on this guy to get rid of him. And then zap this guy. Damn it. Save better. Alright, let's get this thing back up and running. Why is what? Man, why is it worked a second ago? First things first, jump on this guy. Da, da, da. Second thing second, hit this guy. Check it out. You die. Oops. Damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hit. So F5 is the save state in the ROM, but if my mouse is in the chat, F5 does a uh, refresh because it's a web page, you know? Which is super sad town, because then the chat explodes. I'm 
Nice. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm gonna have to check you uh, check you guys out. Because I like watching Twitch as much as I like playing Twitch. You know, that's why I started doing it in the first place. I figured to give back. What do we want to do here? Well, let's try this. Go through here? Am I going in circles now? something over there. Maybe we close this? Uh, look at that secret. That's a secret amongst secrets. Carefully keep track of their numbers and colors. All right, definitely save state. Numbers and colors. Three purple dudes, four red dudes.
three red, four blue, four green. Three, four, four. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll check it out. Because, like I said, before I stream, I've been trying to do a little bit of coding, so I'll throw you up all on coding. And we can yell at each other. Uh, three. Three red dudes. Three blue dudes, two blue dudes, four Koopas, I forget already, I think there's two. Something. 
don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I follow Rogue. No, I don't. Now I'm following. Oops, and I clicked up the buttons. But I didn't refresh the chat. Oh, screw this guy. Tables? Listen, man, you better calm down. This is a civilized chat room right here. Alright, it's time to put these guys to sleep. table just threw you. I know, he's gonna pick up another one. Or maybe that's him putting it down. I can't tell if Arcandy's gonna grab that one and throw it too. His eyes, his eyes say he's gonna throw it. Through both of them. Oh man, dude is super pissed off. All right, I need to. I'm, I gotta put the base down. This chair is so uncomfortable that I can't even sit normally in it and play base. So that's that's the end of that for tonight. We're just gonna play some video games. Finish this thing. It is totally anarchy in here. We're gonna need some police. But you know what the police do? The police alternate between red and blue. Now you did it. Now you done goofed. Disco popo.
Hi, man. It is. No, uh, no, this is what I'm playing Silent Hill in. The, the difference is, see the, the armrests? The armrests prevent me from putting the base uh, across my lap when I'm supposed sitting where I'm supposed to be. So I have to sit like all the way up on the front and it has like this lid, this uh, lip ledge thing so that it's like super uncomfortable to sit on. Oops. Oh no! No, chat, no! Che! No, Che, come back! Spitbot, why'd you make me hit F5 while my mouse was on the chat? Get, 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 get back. Okay. Alright, what are we doing? We want to save here. We want to look over here first. And that's where I came in. Let's just go up here. Wait, haven't I done all this? Where am I going? Or am I going up another level? Oh, I'm going up another level. Stop throwing stuff. Oh. You're getting jumped on. What? Only 10? Not allowed to bring in friends. What's up with that dude's? Oh, I guess he's just in the shadows. Oops. Where's my last refresh? Came in here. Let's check what's down here. We didn't look there yet. No, I think that's where I came. Man, I was really hoping we were going to finish this tonight, but we're two hours and 44 minutes in right now. And I may stop right now, because I thought we were going to be very close to the boss. But it doesn't look like we are. It looks like I've got to do another whole level of this jump. Yeah, you know what? We're going to stop here for tonight. As sad as that is, I don't feel like doing a whole other round of this stuff and then a boss when it's already... Two hours and 44 minutes of streaming. So, we uh, take a save state. And now I put my controller over here. And now we talk and think about stuff and things. So, uh, the coolest idea I think I came up with tonight potentially is. I don't want to, I need to write this down. So, we have uh, potentially the ability to scare viewers. Um, ability for viewers to opt out of being scared via. Ajax web interface on personal server. Ability to stream viewers webcam slash mic to me to Twitch if user is scared motion audio Oh, yeah. Well, that's not really, an, I mean, that's not something I have to, to code or anything. That's something I can just throw a, a guide together for you guys and then links for where to download the 
emulator, uh, the ROMs and all that stuff, because I've done multiplayer in N64 before, and uh, it works pretty well. I actually have a... So the way the multiplayer works is somebody has to be the server. I have a pretty good internet connection, um, so... And I actually, I have a desktop that I leave, or a server that I leave running all the time in my house that I would run the multiplayer server on that we would all connect to. So I'm going to write that down as an idea that we can just do in the future. So N64, I think Mario Party would be the first great one, or maybe Mario Kart. I feel like that'd be a good one too. Uh, multiplayer. And it's called a Kylera server. But the ability to stream viewers, mic to me, to Twitch, if user is scared. Um, I think that's such a cool idea. And if I can pull that off, it would be really freaking cool. Uh, ability to scare viewers, so that would be like um, making skeleton move, overlay ghost, um, loud jump scare. What else? What else would be fun? Well, what are some stuff we can add that's not scares? You know, because like we haven't really added too much. Well, I guess that's not true. I added the fire command tonight. But I guess we can just add other uh, animations to the light strip, right? Like I, I can't think of any other stuff that would be fun. What would be fun for you guys? Yeah, the upsets will definitely be. Uh, our candy. at the end of every one of my streams, I usually hang out for like five minutes or so, five or ten minutes, just sort of brainstorming other fun stuff to add to this stream. And I'm thinking like, I have a ton of, um, oh yeah, I forgot to write that down. Um, alternate multiple colors, alternate red, white, blue example. Oh, yeah, you didn't write that down. Um, shake a webcam command. What, what, if you guys could do anything, and I say anything because I'm not, I'm not like, you know, magic or anything, but pretty much anything you can think of, I could think of. Ooh, our candy. That's vicious for a scare. I could use, um, what could I use for that? I could make like a little trebuchet type thing, like w rubber bands or something, and then use a servo to let go of it so that it fires like, you know, some something small and soft. Oh man, that's so good. That is evil. That's that's more evil. I think that's going to be the worst scare out of everything we have here. Because all the other stuff, like, it's like motion out of the side of my eyes, like vibration, sounds. That is going to be triggering the primal, like, you're in trouble, you need to, like, move out of the way scare. Oh, that's such a good idea. Oh man, um, scare idea, um, uh, throw something at me, that's, that's real good. And you know what, if I can get Haley to play along, um, Haley usually goes to bed a little early, but if she's staying up, uh, we should, we should have a command. Oh, but I would see it. There should be a way that you guys can tell Haley to bust into the room and scare me again. Uh, some molecular swords. I already sort of have that. I have um. Uh, last time I streamed, I have the uh, the the vibration motor that would um, I, I wore around my neck. Also, somewhat interesting. Take a guess as as to what shirt this, what color shirt this is. Like I see what it is on the webcam, but just take a guess as to what color this is in real life. Yeah, Mr. Game, exactly. It's the, the fight or flight, and that's that's one of those things that it's like, that's like brainstem, like low, like cerebellum type, like, you know what I mean? Like, 
It, it is. You're, you're right. <laughs> Molecular Swords, it's black. This shirt is pitch black. Like, black. It, it looks... It's so cool. Like, that's... It's because black fabrics uh, reflect infrared. Like, whatever dye that they use when they make black fabrics um, often reflect infrared light. Which is really cool to me. I think... I think I have a, a TV remote up here somewhere. I swear I had one up here. Hold on a second. Oh, here it is. So check this out. You can see. Like, that's how infrared works, right? You can see it bouncing off of me. It reflects very well off of the black, which I think is pretty darn cool. Like, you can see... Do I have something that absorbs infrared light well? Hmm. Ooh, can we do the experiment? Um, no, it's gonna be, it's gotta be really dark. Oh, also, this thing is turned on. Turn him away. No, oh, you can kind of see it. Let me turn off some of my monitors. I'm trying to show you guys something cool. Potentially. Yeah, you can see that. See the little flicker there? Pressing it now, now, now. There's not enough LEDs, but infrared actually goes through um, your muscle, bone, and whatnot uh, pretty well. And it's uh, a little demo I did at Princeton a little while ago for, for kids to show them like the electromagnetic spectrum and how light absorption works and stuff like that. And tomorrow I'm actually going to teach at a school. Uh, it's a half day. And uh, my boss, his uh, girlfriend, is a teacher there. So I'm going there to teach three things. And I think I, I told you guys this, but I'm going to say it again real quick. I'm doing the infrared x-ray box it's really just infrared and showing their blood veins their veins um, the second thing I'm doing I'm going to explain the Monty Hall problem um, and the Monty Hall problem if you haven't heard of it go and look it up on Wikipedia it's a one of the coolest things that will break your brain for a good 30 minutes and the third thing is I made a box with a button on the front of it and a whole bunch of uh, sensors and doodads and stuff that are sticking out of the box, so it looks very complicated. <laughs> but I'm trolling the kids. In reality, none of the buttons do anything. Oh, no, they will. I, I found the easiest way to uh, diagram um, the Monty Hall problem. If you draw out the three possible permutations, you can show... Uh, how no matter what, when you do switch, it's always two thirds. Um, it's really, really simple if you draw the the small little matrix of just three possible choices. Because there only really are three choices. Like, for example, if it's behind door number one, and you pick door number one, what normal scares? What if normal scare words have a chance to notify? Yeah. I was thinking that, if I can think of a way for you guys to notify Haley somehow to come in and scare me, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah let, me, let me find a portal turret picture thing. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to find pictures. That's nah, fine. Um, but the money hall problem, and then the third thing is that box I was talking about. The trolley part about the box, the box has got a button on the front and a whole bunch of doodads and sensors and microphones and stuff. The trolley part about the box is up on the very top there's lights and the lights light completely randomly. They turn on and off just completely random based on an Arduino inside. So I'm going to bait the kids and say, um, you know, like, I need two or three volunteers. Uh, who here in the class thinks there's really good at 
figuring out patterns or figuring out how things work. Um, and then I'll get the kids to come up and press all the buttons and shake the box and you know motion around it and do all this stuff. And it's essentially replicating the famous uh, B.F. Skinner pigeon uh, experiment that kind of explains um, where, uh, what's it called? I can't think of the word superstitions come from. And uh, the reason I'm doing that and the reason I'm doing the uh, medley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, the reason I'm doing that is uh, the teacher, I wanted to make sure that, she just wanted me to come and show the kids cool stuff because it's a half day and she's like, whatever. The reason I'm doing that though is I wanted to, to stay in line with what the teacher's teaching and they're currently teaching the scientific method. And I thought that would be a cool way to sort of show like, here's why you need the scientific method because human brains suck at this stuff. Like we are so good at confirmation bias and you know, <laughs> making patterns out of noise, and like that's that's what humans do. Like we're terrible at science without scientific methods. Um, so I'm gonna upload a couple pictures real quick to Imager just to show you what. Oh, come on. Oh, Facebook is trolling me. Really? You're not gonna let me? No, I don't want to do that. Open a new tab. Come on, man. Here we go. So the medley thing, I was thinking uh, a lot of, uh, or not a lot of, some of the streamers I've seen, they um, before they actually stream, they 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 set aside like five minutes in the very beginning, where they'll like, um, they don't even do anything. They just have like a, a an image up that says like, I'm gonna start streaming soon. And I think that's a little lazy. So what I thought I would do is in uh, off time, I'll come up with like a, a like a custom medley of video game songs that I'll play with drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, whatever I have. Maybe even I'll throw in a little bit of the bagpipes. And um, uh, pick one of the instruments to play live with it as uh, we wait for sort of people to come in into the, the stream. I think that'd be sort of a, a cool thing to sort of hang out in the beginning so that, you know, people don't join late and like miss a little bit because, you know, email is silly and whatever. Man, my browser's being super sad. Okay, so browse computer. Right. And that's, that's what I was thinking of uh, essentially combating by doing that. So I am uploading the pictures now. There's three pictures. One is a little diagram I used to get the math on the shape of the ellipse. Uh, and I got uh, these numbers directly out of, out of the game uh, models for the portal turret. So the pictures didn't upload in order. Uh, the second image is the one that shows my numbers um, and how I got the slices. The first... Oh yeah, Twitter's pretty instant. The first image is the raw cutouts of those slices. And then the third image is the shaped down two halves of the egg uh, that I'm then going to stick together, fiberglass over, cut open, uh, hollow out the foam because I don't want the foam anymore. I want to put my electronics and goodies in there. Um, you know, and then move from there. So that's the that's where I left off. How do I set what up? Oh, Twitter? Do you have a Twitter account? <sighs> so anyway, I think I've got a bunch of pretty tight ideas. I really like the interactive scare idea. I think that's going to be like pretty pretty twitch game changing if it's pulled off well. I really like Arcandy's idea of Oh, so push notifications on Twitter. Um if you follow me, you can set up 
uh, push notifications through individual Twitter clients and your account. You can have it email you when uh, certain people tweet. Uh, so for example, uh, I own a Twitter account that a lot of people follow to get tickets for The Daily Show and The Colbert Report. That's called uh, Daily Ticks. Um, and I made that because it's a pain in the dick to get tickets for that show. Especially now since Colbert is going away. Which, by the way, Molecular Swords, we should go see him before he stops because he only has like 30-some episodes left. But anyway, uh, I run that account and a lot of people do the same thing. They set up these notifications so that they get emailed the second that tickets come out or that my bot announce, announces uh, tickets being uh, available. The nice thing about running the bot is I can put a little bit of delay in there and get tickets first. Yeah, we should totally do that. Haley was talking about doing that too, so I think we should uh, think about when we want to do that. Plus, it's New York, you know, so it's like <laughs> you still get to hang out and eat some awesome food up there. Love to go to that place where they let you deep fry everything. But I do, I love our candy's idea. I think that's the most vicious scare we've come up with yet. Having something directly being thrown at my face. And then we've got, uh, I like the idea of the N64, um, setting up a day where anyone who wants to play, I'll give them instructions and the ROMs and the emulator so that you can play, so that we can all play together. And if there's more than four people, we could like, you know, take turns, you know, like how, how you used to do with, with friends. Oh, what's up, Impression? Uh, you are somewhat new here, I think. Or, I guess you're a friend of our candy. I'm just about stopping the stream, which sucks, but hopefully we'll come back next time. Annette. Huh. Annette. Do you think that'd be... I don't know if that would be as scary as... Or not as scary, but as... You know, just like the thing dropping. I guess because it's touching me. I totally could do Annette. I could do that. Yeah, let's write that down. Net. Net drop. Yeah, that would have to be a once a night thing. Um, because it would be too, too much of a pain to set up each time, you know? And it would be really distracting to, yeah, right. Live spiders. I'm gonna send some live spiders to your house, Svard. <laughs> I used to have real bad arachnophobia. I'm, I'm fine with it now, but I used to have real bad <laughs> arachnophobia. Uh, uh, X-Split. Oh, and he's talking our candy, okay. Uh, you can actually link your Twitter account to Twitch through your, um, through Twitch, through the, the website. Yeah. It'll automatically do it. Oh my god. Throwing something at my face I think is going to kill me. I think that may actually give me a heart attack. We'll see how that goes. So we still have the ideas of adding relays to let you guys control monitors. Um, I think I think for this weekend I'm going to try and get the, uh, the control mods in place. Because I think it'd be really cool if, if I'm in the middle of doing a fight or something and you guys have a control to invert one of my joystick axes. Like, that would be super, especially if, like, it's, a you know, like, something intense going on. It's like, no, I want to go left. I'm going right. I think that'd be really good. <laughs> Tweet 911. Uh... But actually, I can knock this one off my list. I have the main bot is threaded now. I just need to add some um, thread locking to it so that if somebody... The reason I threaded it, and, um, and that was kind of a bitch to do, but I wanted to do it because if somebody is posting um, light commands, like our uh, you know disco or fun things like that, that when that's going on, previously... If you typed one of the drop commands or whatever, it would have to wait until this was done, which which kind of sucks. If you want to time your your scares, that's annoying. Um, but now because it's threaded, I can just kill that thread and boom, scare stuff right now, things. 
so that's good. So I'm going to let you guys mess with my monitors. Um, flip the game image. Ooh, that's good. Mess, mess with the game controls. I have that written down. Uh, queuing up commands already works. Colors from the emulator. Ooh, I didn't even... Uh, I forgot I wrote that, that one down. Disco strobe. Yeah, I can do a disco strobe. Let's... The more animations, the, the, the better, you know. And then we can sort of leave some of these these keywords off the main page that there's like secret um, commands that like only the people who hang out more know about it. Where you where? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but the point system, I think, is gonna be really badass once I implement that. Um, chase colors in series. I have that written down. Relays for the monitors. Controlling a fan, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I've got, I've got a good amount of ideas. Right, right now, I have, what's my selection? There is 27 ideas I have right now that I have not implemented. Ideas I have implemented already is <laughs> 33. <laughs> Flash game has a really soft volume. You get to look at the screen. What, to scare myself? What do you mean by that, molecular swords? Follow the longer than. Oh, or maybe you mean just like reduce the volume of my game? over time so that like when a, a loud thing does happen it's like super hardcore intense <laughs> yeah Arcandy you, you definitely win the prize for the most scary idea I've heard yet I think that's gonna kill me and uh like your swords I think I think I will do that I'll, I'll implement a that'll be another control so that somebody can uh slowly like over the course of like a minute or two reduce the volume on my side but not your guys side so it still stays the same reduce volume over time then crank for sound scare uh see you man what's up mr game i'm about to sign off uh after whatever you say Uh, webcam shake command. That's like a client. That's a viewer scare. Oh, molecular swords. Did you get your uh, your script to do what you wanted? I, I know you figured out the whole file descriptor Linuxy thing, but I, I don't know if you you got the whole thing working. <laughs> I need more vibration motors. Kind of. Well, if you if you send me the script, and uh, like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. What do you think of this? I don't know. If I... Ah, I forgot. So, that is an awesome idea, and somebody at work told me to do something similar. Hold on, I need to write that down. Um. I, I don't know if the creek would really be that scary, but what I th kinda, eh, maybe what what I think I was going to try is I was going to so the door in my room I mean you could probably tell by how I reacted to Haley last time it's right here um, and it's not it's not very close it's like across the room over there um, so what I was thinking of doing is attaching. Uh, some sort of potential energy to the door, like rubber bands or a spring or something like that, and keeping it in place with a servo that's uh, this way, because none of the servos I have are very strong, right? Like you can hear if I pull down on it just by a tiny bit, it's whining to keep its position. So what I'll do is I'll have the servo this ways against the door, and then when the servo moves out of the way, the door gets pulled open and it'll like fling open. 
Uh, so there'll be no one on the other side, but the door should just go like, wah, like open up real quick. And I think that will scare scare the crap out of me. Um, I don't know if it'll scare the crap. It's kind of quiet and it's kind of dark. Maybe if I put a light on the other side of the door, but I'm writing that down. Door open quickly. Uh, we'll say rubber band. I'll use chained rubber bands. All right, that's plenty of ideas. All right, I'm going to head out. Molecular Swords, if you want to send me the script, I will definitely take a look at it. I know Perl pretty well, and Python, and Bash, and far too many stupid languages that are cluttering my brain. That's probably why I can't remember anything that's useful in my life. Um, but I will see you guys later. Same time tomorrow, and hopefully we will beat Paper Mario, and then move on to Pokemans. See you guys.